You make the mistake of thinking that every girl is perfect. They got no flaws, but I'm here to switch that. I'm here to tell you that they're not perfect. And if you see these deal breakers in women, don't even give them a chance. You shouldn't even be losing sleep over them. For example, they got too many bodies on them. Look, say what you want, call it toxic, this, that, or the other. But at the end of the day, science is science. And studies have proven that the more bodies a woman has, the less she is able to bond with you, which means it's just gonna be easier for her to play you, to cheat on you, for her to just use you. There is no emotional connection, which is what naturally happens when you sleep with somebody. So if you see a girl in the double digits, in the 30s, 40s, 50s, that's not something to be proud of, and that's not something for you to be ashamed of or for her to shame you just because you don't want it. Number two, she has guy best friends. Don't let her lie to you. See, this one in the first tip, this is what girls will always say. They'll be like, oh, you're just insecure. Oh, you're, you're just not secure in yourself enough. Bro, they're manipulating you. They're gaslighting you. Sure, call me insecure. Call you a baby, say that you're not confident enough, but don't be dumb enough to get played. The truth of the matter is, you should never trust the other guy because that other guy, he's just waiting for a moment of weakness and really you should never trust her with another guy because at the end of the day, in a moment of weakness, in a moment of passion or lust, she won't remember you. Your goal is to minimize the chances of failure. This is what you do in, in life. You mitigate risk and if you want to mitigate risk, do not ignore that deal breaker. Number three, she doesn't even try. This is a good one. See, if she's not even trying, you, you should put a standard of excellence to yourself. I have always said that whatever standard of excellence you set on her, you should have on yourself. So you should also be fit. You should also dress well. You should also be groomed, right? But if she's not even trying and your standard of excellence is right here, don't even give her a chance. That's a deal breaker right there. Why? Because that girl, she doesn't care about you. When a girl truly cares, she'll put all her effort into it, which means drop her, stay on yourself, King, Keep leveling yourself up. Matter of fact, yo, we're still on Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend. That's a red flag walking. Ignore that girl. Save yourself the money you spend it this weekend. Yo, everything on our sites are up to 70% off. He Grooming, Santa Lucia, J Black, Essentials. And on top of that, all four brands are getting new products. So for the first time ever, you're getting a crazy sale across all four brands, plus brand new exposure to the best products we've released to date for the best price possible. Yo. Like I said, keep working on yourself. Keep your standard of excellence high. So whatever girl you do end up matching, matches your level. You end up bagging those eight, nines, and tens, and you will not do that if you don't focus on yourself. Yo, if you want to dress well, if you want to smell right, if you want your grooming to be on point, you already know where to look, bro. And don't be greedy. Like I said, click that link down below. The sale only lasts through Black Friday and Cyber Monday, which means it's the best time of the year to ever shop. You'll have to wait another year. And then on top of that, it's the best time of the year to shop for gifts so you don't have to spend a lot of money. Number four, laziness. Walking red flag. That, that's a type of deal breaker you should never ignore. If you notice this girl is lazy, she has no ambition, she has no drive, she just does nothing all day. What she's waiting for is a sugar daddy. What she's waiting for is somebody that she can drain. All your hard work will be disappeared. Number five, she's just too masculine. If you notice, she's very confrontational. She doesn't want to submit, but instead, she wants to almost be you in the relationship. She wants to be the man of the relationship. And whoever tells you 50-50, lie to you. There's no such thing as 50-50. No sports team is a 50 -50. There is always a team captain. There is always a president. There is always a leader. There has to be a head. That's the only way an organization functions, which means you always respect her, you love her, you take care of her, but you as the leader should always adopt that role. And if she's challenging that, she's, this is basically telling you she doesn't respect you and doesn't see you in that light. Which takes me to number six. She doesn't talk about her future with you. Any girl you start dating, if you really make her fall in love, she'll immediately start, how many kids do you want? What should we name them? Uh, when do we get married? This, that, the other. How, how does our house look? They start making the plans for the future. That's how the girl mind works. If she hasn't done that with you, deal breaker. Finally, number seven, she's overweight. And uh, not because I'm fat phobic, but because again, the standard of excellence I lay on yourself and on myself, you should lay on the other partner, which means if you are striving to be healthy, to live longer, to look as great as possible, to feel amazing, you pairing yourself to somebody that's overweight in life, there is this phenomenon where it's much easier to always take the path of least resistance. So if you pair yourself with a bad fruit, with a bad apple, you yourself will take those habits. You're gonna stop going to the gym every night and now only three times a week. Now you're staying and eating ice cream. Now you're eating fast food because that's what she likes as well. So what I'm telling you is she's gonna ruin you, bro. That's a deal breaker.